wide field color mode allows you to have the benefit of fluorescence imaging as well as using the DIC or the bright field channel as an overlay. I can come down to my channels tools, navigate to the bright field track and select it. Upon hitting live, I can see my color image on the screen made up of the purple stain and pink stain of the H&E. And I can see that my histogram is being denoted by an RGB color space for the gamma of 0.45 uh, to accurately display the color information. As a reminder, you can navigate by moving half screens and full screen widths in X and Y. And you can double click to center the object of interest. You can also hold down the control key and roll the scroll wheel of the mouse, which is a nice feature. Once you're happy with the settings, these can be adjusted by either increasing the intensity of the transmitted light lamp or by adjusting the exposure settings for the camera. You can stop the live and take a snap. And that snap will be displayed on the screen and you can auto scale if you desire, but it is automatically performing a white balance and making that gamma 0.45 for your RGB image. You can perform the quick two by two or three by three tile, remembering that this isn't stitched. What you can also do is capture Z stacks and tiles as well. For tiles, we can perform the same, the same settings as we would for fluorescence by telling it a number of fields of view in X and Y, we can add them to the list and start our experiment. We can see the overlaps in our image and with the tile scan, you can go to processing, stitching, you can select the input source, and you can line up the tiles. And you can see that these are now aligned and the overlap is uh, no longer visible. You can also see that the stitched file here isn't yet saved out and you may want to save that. 